Hey everybody, how's it going? John here, you are watching In The Loop Travel and I am having a little morning adventure here in Costa Maya, Mexico. I'm visiting on Carnival Jubilee. Now many of you might know that Costa Maya is a well-developed cruise port uh, facility. The infrastructure at the port is pretty much put up there to support cruise ship visits. There's a lot to do there, of course, uh, all sorts of shops, restaurants, pools, little beach area, um, a lot of activities you can enjoy. This is where the shore excursions take off from. Wait for that bus to go by. This is where you'll meet and uh, go out for your shore excursions from that point. They'll also sell uh, independent shore excursions if you don't buy one on your cruise ship. It's, uh, the facility is set up as sort of a simulated uh, representation of Maya culture. There's a lot going on there around that. Um, it might feel a little fake to you, but it's fun to sort of hang out there if you don't want to go off an excursion. It's a good spot to get some souvenirs and shop and relax, enjoy the weather. What I'm gonna do today though is go a couple miles south of Costa Maya. You can walk, you can get a taxi cab. I heard there's a nice beach town called Mahahuel. I think I'm pronouncing that close to correctly. I'll put the spelling here on screen for you. Now that's a town of about 3,000 people and it also has a beautiful beach, I am told. Uh, some shopping as well and you can just hang out there maybe. Uh, do a snorkel experience, go kayaking. There you, you can rent bicycles as well. And maybe enjoy a lunch, some beers or something like that. So I wanted to take a walk there and show you the route, a little bit of the route. And uh, we'll both experience this for the first time together. Let's go check out Mahahuel. Okay, I've made it here to Mahahuel. Let's do a little time check. It took uh, just less than 30 minutes for me to walk. I followed my GPS on my phone. If you have phone service, that should serve you well. Um, it's right through the middle of town. You can see those road out of the port area, but then you a couple turns through the neighborhoods, you end up on this main road here. And you just walk toward the big tower and you're at the Malacon right here and then you head further into town which we're gonna do you see people are biking on the bike path already and we're gonna go check it out Mahahul is a fishing village on a pretty coastal road as you can see here I took a walk into town and noticed that some excursions bring cruise travelers to town for the day but there are also a number of small resorts that cater to backpackers and other travelers who just want to be here for the sunshine and water sports. As I walked through town, I noticed that it has a nice variety of small restaurants, some bars and plenty of shops. Plus, there are a number of beachside spas where you can get a massage. More on that soon. But first, I wanted to get my lunch and a couple of beers. I picked out a little cantina, La Constanita, with a plan to relax, enjoy my refreshments, and gaze out at the blue waters. 
It was a really cute spot. The staff was so friendly and they told me all about the town. Okay, Manuel, how spicy is that? Very spicy. Fire! Fire, he says. All right, we're trying this chicken burrito here at La Cosentina. Right here by the waterfront. Okay, I just finished a really fun morning visiting Maha Hua here. I stopped for lunch and some beers, uh, got a burrito, a couple of Indio beers, and met some nice people working there. Stopped also for a one hour massage. There's a lot of massage places set up by the beach. It was very relaxing, a great place to have a massage. And you can get them for about one third the price you might pay on your cruise ship. So. This is definitely a great little town to check out. Uh, you can see all the cabs are queued up here. So it's easy to catch a cab from your port over here and back. I took a walk, it's about a half hour each way because I like to get my exercise. So that was a good option. Before I leave you, I'm gonna show you a little montage of what you can do in port in, Co in Costa Maya if you decide to s spend your day there. So you'll have two options. There's always options. Thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you in the next one.